Hi, this is Sharon. I'm demonstrating a Foley irrigation for Tammy. Um, and I just wanted to show you how simple this can be. But first and foremost, the irrigation is not recommended unless there's an obstruction. The order needs to be obtained from the doctor and the amount um, to irrigate and the frequency should be obtained with that order as well. So you have, you have a catheter that's not draining. So you're going to collect supplies. You're gonna get the irrigation kit with the piston syringe, the um, normal saline, never use tap water, and some alcohol preps. And you're gonna open the irrigation kit. Um, obviously, you're talking with the resident, telling the resident what's happening. Um, get, making sure they're comfortable. So this is the container that you're going to use to pour the saline into. And usually 60 to 100 mils is a good amount. Um, you wanna keep, you wanna prevent from touching the tip of that. You're going to place the drape under the catheter. You want as clean a field as you can get. Um, when you disconnect the tube, you want to have the cap, which I thought I saved it. Oh, there it is. And you're going to use alcohol prep pads, so I'm going to open a few of those ahead of time. And you're opening this. You're going to sort of pinch the catheter off. You're going to cap this. You're going to wipe around, and you're going to you're still gonna be pinching this off because there could be something that flows out. You're going to aspirate as much saline as you need. The order might be for 50 cc's, might be 400. And it looks like I've taken a little more than 50. You don't wanna push air into the bladder. So when you're making the connection, you're going to push it through. I never thought about where this might be going. Um, <laughs> when you're pushing it through, you're going to do it slowly and you're not going to force it. Thanks, Tammy. Um, and once the saline is through, you're going to disconnect and you're going to use your tray and you're going to release the syringe from the catheter tubing, and you're going to place this without touching anything with the catheter itself so the saline, the irrigation fluid is draining back in. If the fluid doesn't come back out, you can reattach and pull back a little bit because there may be a blood clot, some sort of debris that's causing it to not drain. Oftentimes it is due to position. So you could have the person stand up, turn, side to side and it should not be uncomfortable for the person um, and then when you're disconnecting everything you're going to measure and document um, appearance and volume and when you reattach you're going to wipe everything back off and connect it back together and then just monitor the output going forward it's often recommended to, you know, encourage fluids so you can dilute any trauma that's been caused, um, causing the blockage. And I think that's it for fully irrigation.